Welcome back to Grizz Vision, brought to you by the Evans Law Group. My name is here, Neil Rule, here with Coach Campy after a 93-50 loss at Purdue. And Coach, you know, with this one, this game went back and forth. You guys had the lead about 10 minutes into this one as you dropped your stat sheet right there. You can go get it. That's fine. <laughs> uh, you can't, you're not getting away, though, Camp. It looked like, it looked like us in the second half. <laughs> but you guys, you guys had the lead, you know, with 10 minutes to go in the first half there. But Purdue went on a run, and the horses got out of the barn. Yeah, you know, it, it's, you lose by 45 or what, 50 or whatever we lost. And 43, I guess it was. And to sit here and say, I'm not upset, I'm not, I'm not, I, I feel fine, I'm glad the game's over, I'm glad we get to go home, I'm glad we get to have a couple practices, and I'm glad we get to play again. Um, I thought that the first seven, eight minutes of the game, we really did a nice job, and then the NBA teams don't play five games in seven days, especially against the level of competition we're playing. This is, we didn't play a non-D1 and this and this, and then, oh yeah, we played Purdue, I mean, um, so I'm not upset with it at all. Did I expect it? I thought it could happen. Did I think it was gonna happen? No, I thought we would compete and we did. But once they started making shots, we just didn't have anything. We, you know, that little extra that you have to have to when they make a run on you to come back and really dig down and we just didn't have it. I, I think mentally we have it, but we didn't have it physically. So it is what it is. And the other side of that is, you know, there were six freshmen that played a lot of basketball and that it's a new experiences for them that, you know, their freshmen are used to being the man, being the star, and all of a sudden they're out there and a guy seven foot four is dunking on them and talking crap to them. And, you know, and, and, and the, the Williams kid, you know, an all big 10 player who weighs about 400 pounds and just, you know. Chiseled rock, yeah. yeah and, and we did a heck of a job defensively the first seven, eight minutes of the game. We got a lot of turnovers, we got tips, we flew around, we were doing great and they were making some shots. Um, we missed a couple easy ones, but the game changed when I substituted Micah. I took Micah out of the game, and we, we, had, we didn't have that presence out on top, and they just threw where the ball wherever they wanted to throw it, made some shots, and all of a sudden it was 10, and we, we just couldn't do anything once it got to 14 or 15. Now, Coach, you look at this basketball game. There were some of the, the, the good things you did see. We saw Joey Hollifield get out there and play pretty well. Went three or four from the floor. Some good big to big passing from uh, from Daniel Adapo as well. And uh, Jalen Moore, you know, he's, that, that, the shots will fall for Jalen Moore. He's too good of a shooter. You, you know that will happen. And he's always showing that quickness on display. Well, that's the perplexing thing for me right now is, you know, the history of Oakland basketball is great shooting teams. And... Maybe I'm getting senile in my old age. Maybe I don't see well, who knows, but I think these kids can really shoot it. And we got guys, and it's not one guy. You can't point at one guy and say, hey, he's not making shots. It's everyone. I mean, we're shooting. We were three of 21 today, and that was a good day from the three, you know? Yeah. I mean, we're just, we are just not. And, you know, Purdue's philosophy defensively is to play from the basket out. And when you play against them, if you've got a guy like Jalen that can penetrate, you're going to get some open shots. And early in the game, they were taking our shooters away, and Jalen got in there and made some drop-off drop, off, drop off passes. Well, Matt, Matt's going to change that, and he's going to adjust, and he did. And we got some wide-open looks. And we, I got guys one for six, one for eight, one, you know. And then your top, you know, our top player, the preseason all-league guy, isn't playing. And he's hurt, and, you know, we could have used him making a few threes early today. Um, he, just, he just couldn't go. So I tried to go with him, but he couldn't go. So right. it is what it is. You got a bunch of young guys trying to make shots against the best players in the country. And some days are going to be like Michigan, and some days are going to be like this. I'm well, Coach the Greg Campy Radio Show tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Fans can listen to that, ask questions with a hashtag Ask Campy and in Oklahoma State on Saturday and the probable number one pick in the NBA draft. So it's the talent level's not going down, but it stunningly. It, it ain't getting any easier, <laughs> Oklahoma State and then Michigan State. So uh, I can't wait. I'm, I'm enthused and think great things are going to happen. Thanks, Coach.